Hi there everyone, this is Heather Fun About and today I would like to take this opportunity to give my first impressions on Nexus 9 which was recently announced and uh, will be available for pre-orders within 5 to 6 days. I want to actually add the preview of Nexus 9, the first impression of Nexus 9 with the Nexus 6 impressions but the video ended up being a 12 minute long video and if I know correctly how YouTube works, longer videos are not a fashion here so I decided to end that video there and make a separate video for Nexus 9 so this is it, the first impression of Nexus 9 are coming and I would like to keep it really short. The interesting thing about I liked about the Nexus tablet is that it's a flagship device. It's a flagship tablet coming from the end Google side and has a stock Android experience on it. And this is one thing that is the best thing on this device. And in fact, it is one of the best attractions. Uh, if uh, you see, there are a lot of tablets that are launched every year. But uh, every for every device to be eye-catchy or to be known, they have to be from the bigger brand or have to be a flagship. So in this case, the it is the main heart of the Android devices and it's the stock experience and uh, the other fact is that it is straight from the Google and it's coming from the Google, the Nexus lineup is from the Google. So Google has given the manufacturing rights to HTC. So HTC has manufactured Nexus 9 and they have done a pretty well job. So from specification point of view, Nexus 9 looks awesome. So the Nexus 7, let us talk about the Nexus 7 for a moment now. The Nexus 7 was a huge success because of the price point and the specifications that were for the device. And it sold like hotcakes. A lot of people bought it. They were disappointed. Some disappointments with the Nexus 7, but uh, still a lot of people loved that tablet. In fact, a lot of people have bought that tablet. And in this case, Nexus 9 is now going to be a successful as well. But there are something uh, that uh, still makes me feel that the Nexus 9 might not do as Nexus 7 did. So let's see what Nexus 9 is actually built off. The first best thing I liked about the Nexus 9 is the metal body and the size. The size of this device is supposed to be 8.9 inches and it's fully made of metal and for metal it's a thumbs up from my side because I like metal devices and if, if in this case the tablet is of metal then uh, this is really a premium thing to happen with any Nexus device. Now the second thing that I liked about or the third thing that I liked about this device is the front facing speakers. It's really really interesting, it's really amazing, it's really cool to have front facing speakers on this device because uh, the music experience and the voice calling experience will be interesting on this device because uh, when you see other devices that have rear facing speakers when you place it on any surface the amount of volume that you receive comes down and in this case the front facing speakers benefit a lot in fact Moto G also has a uh, front facing speakers now let us talk about the weight of this uh, tablet it's one pound it's 425 grams just 25 grams short of one pound because for one pound you need uh, 450 grams so in this case it is uh, just uh, 25 grams short of one pound and it's half kg to be precise and uh, the resolution that i have heard on that is going to be on this device is 2049 into 1536 the processor that uh, has been powered for this device is the 2.3 GHz NVIDIA Tegra K1. So 
this is from nvdi this cpu is from nvdi and it's a 60 fit 4 bit processor and android care lollipop that is going to be on this device supports a 64 bit operating system the google was saying uh, google were saying that this device has the capability of a computer it will behave as a computer and uh, it will act as a computer because of the 64 bit processor available to this device so uh, they are saying that it is as powerful as computer and it is worth seeing if it really stands out and uh, they and keeps their word now we move on and see the amount of ram they have provided it is com it comes with 2 gb of ram uh, they should have given at least one more GB of RAM, but still 2 GB of RAM is impressive. It's uh, well decided because 2 GB of RAM will do all, almost every work. Now we move to the camera side. On tablets, cameras should not be there. This is what I feel because uh, tablets are not meant for cam cameras. It's meant for a lot of different activities like reading, gaming and videos other things but there should be a front facing camera for uh, video calling that should be there it should not uh, be rejected but in this case uh, the rear camera is one thing that i uh, think that uh, it is not necessary but it is good if provided so in this case it has a 8 megapixel camera in the rear and has 1.6 megapixel camera on the front so if uh, the uh, the 8 megapixel camera is uh, high as far as i know on tablets uh, a lot of ta tablets don't have that much amount of uh, camera so this is interesting to see that it has an 8 megapixel camera and a 1.6 the has that uh, 1.6 megapixel camera on the front uh, i would have loved if they if it had been a 5 megapixel camera on the front because i said uh, it is good uh, tablets are mostly used for speaking or doing video calls so it would have been interesting if there was a, a front camera that was uh, high in megapixels so there is no problem in that still 1.6 is great now in terms of storage it has uh, 16 GB of storage and 32 GB of storage it, that is it comes in two ways 16 GB and 32 GB it does not support micro USD card slot this is one thing that is also bad on this device uh, 16 32 if they, uh, somebody is buying 32 GB variant then it's okay because uh, a lot will not be required it also supports OTG I believe if it supports OTG then there is uh, no need to worry about the storage uh, at all because uh, you could at any time attach a pen drive to it and then use it as your external storage and pen drives are always so short so but still there should have been a micro sd card slot so that you could add some extra external memory to it but anyways uh, it is still okay in terms of uh, battery it is uh, 6700 mah so specification wise the nexus 9 looks awesome and uh, the best part that i liked about this device was uh, the metal build the second thing was the front facing speakers and that are two things that i liked about and one more thing that is worth mentioning is about is the 64 bit uh, operate pro uh, processor that it is equipped with so this is an interesting specification an interesting device and uh, those of you who are waiting congratulations in advance because you are going to be the buyers of the device so this is it thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, do make some good comments in the comment section thank you very much